friends hello um hi so today we are going to be doing a get ready with me like a my thoughts style video i already primed my face and put on moisturizer and stuff so we're just gonna start with foundation we're gonna be using two different foundations today and mixing them basically i want to talk about kat bundy i feel like i have to talk about it um because i do have a lot of opinions about it and everyone's basically been giving theirs so i kind of wanted to throw my opinion out there if you're not caught up on the situation, uh, Kat Von D has publicly announced she will, there we go, she will not be vaccinating her children. Um, if you don't know who Kat Von D is, she is known for like being a tattoo artist, I guess on like Ink Masters or something, or there's a show like LA Ink or something. She's known like publicly, like even my boyfriend knew who she was. Uh, not for her makeup though. I know her because she has a makeup brand and a lot of people Because she came out and said this a lot of people are now saying like We don't want to support her makeup brand. Um, which Yeah, I mean people are saying it. Here's my thing. I don't want to I hate the anti-vaxxer movement. First of all, I used to, I don't know if you guys know this, I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but uh, I worked in daycare for about three years, working with kids ages like six weeks all the way up to like 12. Um, and I'll probably get back into daycare next semester because my schedule is gonna allow me to have a little bit more time. I love working in daycare. Um, it's one of my favorite things because I just love working with kids and it's a lot of fun every day It's a lot of fun and it's just something I like doing like I've worked in daycare for a long time um, And I had parents I had two parents. I didn't have a lot of parents because anti-vaxxers Thankfully a lot of them fall into the major like the minority of people most people just get their kids vaccinated um, I had a parent who was an anti-vaxxer and it was always an issue because basically honestly I the thing I feel the worst about when somebody doesn't vaccinate their kid is the effect that it has on the child um, not even just the health risks because I could go on and on about the health risks and the terrible things that you can acquire uh, because you didn't vaccinate your kid the problem is which a lot of people have pointed this out but I feel like I would like to point it out too. I'm gonna start by talking about just how I feel about anti-vaxxers like anti and then I'm gonna get in more to Kat Von D specifically as a person because I, I wanna separate the two a little bit. It's hard because I know it's your kid so you're allowed to make decisions for them when they're babies. I don't think vaccination should be a choice. I know it is. Uh, I don't really think it should be because it doesn't just affect, it's not like what you're feeding your kid, like if you want to feed your kid a plant-based diet, or if you want to raise them to be a certain religion, or if you want to raise them a certain way. This isn't like that. Those decisions, like, I, they're really, you can't really argue, like, right or wrong for those decisions, because it's the parent's decision at the end of the day. My problem with anti-vaccination is that it doesn't just affect your kid. It affects every single child they come into contact to. Um, and they're not even old enough to realize the, the gravity of that situation. Um, we had kids who got sick from other kids at the daycare who weren't vaccinated. We had a couple parents who weren't necessarily anti-vaxxers, but they were just like, they weren't on top of that stuff. Their kids got sick all the time. It really weakened the kids' immune system. We had one baby uh, who was an anti-vaxxer. She was in the hospital for like, I think she had to leave the daycare before. I never saw her again after she left, but she was like, she's like less than a year old and she has to be in the hospital for like four months. Um, I've seen firsthand the medical effects of kids who don't get vaccinated, and so I just can't stand, I'm sorry, I just can't stand it. I know that people have their argument that is like, and Kat Von D I'm sure has the same one. First of all, the argument about autism, don't even come at me with that because I don't, I don't believe it and I don't care what you have to say. If your child gets autism, I'd rather my child have autism. I'm not, I know I'm not a parent, but I would rather my child have autism than be dead. First of all, 
Uh, second of all, there's actually zero scientific evidence. You have to take one biology class. I took an intro to biology class and I learned all of this. Um, there is zero evidence to support the idea that vaccines can give you autism. I know some parents swear it's true, but they have zero evidence to support it. So to me, it's not true. Um, and even if it was, again, dead autism. I feel like we're really skewed in the way we see mental health. Regardless, the bigger problem is that people can have reactions to uh, vaccines. And they can. People can have reactions. But it is so unlikely that you are the one that has the reaction. So unlikely. Like, one in a million chance that you are the one to have, or your kid is the one to have a reaction to a vaccine. So unlikely. But the chances of them getting someone else sick or getting super sick themselves with something that's totally preventable is even higher than that. People who just kind of ignore those facts, I don't know. I have, I've, I feel, coming from someone who works with kids, my boyfriend is immunocompromised. So kids like him, kids like, kids who aren't, and he's going to be a teacher, so like kids who aren't vaccinated could literally directly affect him as a teacher. He's there trying to teach your kids and you can't do one basic thing to protect him from getting sick. So that pisses me off. Uh, it's just like a whole thing. So that's where I stand on vaccinations. Um, let's talk about Kat Bundy. Because I feel like this kind of goes deeper than just vaccinating. Anybody who tried to give her like information about the situation to be like, actually you're incorrect. She just either ignored them or told them to basically F off. Like, she did not care about the facts, apparently. Um, and then she made this whole Instagram post where she basically equated being an anti-vaxxer to being a vegan in society. Like, she was like, I already know what it feels like to be an outcast from society. Like, try being a vegan. I don't think anybody hates vegans or like strongly strongly despises vegans uh because they don't really do anything i think the only reason anyone's ever made fun of kat Bundy for being a vegan is because she kind of fits the stereotype that surrounds vegans that's like oh if they're a vegan they're gonna tell you because she like talks about it so much and like kind of pushes it on to people so much um but i i know so many people that are vegan that are not like that so i just like i don't see, i i more just see it as like but now that I think about it, I think that's really on brand for Kat Von D. I kind of think she's just like an extremist in whatever she does. Once this all came out, I started doing a little bit more research on her just to kind of see, like, cause I, I've always bought her makeup and I've always, um, I've never like been a diehard for her. Like I've never like, she's never been my favorite brand. She's never been my favorite person. I've never really had strong feelings about her one way or the other. Um, until all of this started but then I kind of started like going through her Instagram researching her a little bit more based on the public persona that she kind of amplifies at people I don't really think I want to support her or her brand anymore it's not just about anti-vaxxing because if she wants to do that I don't like it, but I'm not the type of person that'll just like cancel someone for one way of thinking that I disagree with. I've realized that she has multiple, multiple, multiple ways <laughs> of thinking that I disagree with, including a history of literally being a Nazi, <laughs> which allegedly, because I don't want to get in trouble for saying that, my mouth you guys, when I found all this information, my mouth literally dropped. Like, I was like, what in the hell? What? How is this not talked about? She literally has a history of being, like, an anti-Semitic and a racist and dated, like, a guy who openly, like, which, again, you're not who you date, but it's, I mean, if you can deal with that, like, what's that, what's that say about you? Dated a man who's, like, very openly racist and openly, like, likes Hitler and all of this crazy, insane stuff. And I'm just sitting here like, why did I ever, why do I own the Satan Center palette? Like, why do I, why do I do anything in my life that supports this woman? Because I so strongly, strongly disagree with things that she's done in the past. 
I guess there was an issue where she like maybe like said something to a co-worker like left this is all alleged too there's no like actual proof but there's a lot of alleged things going on like quite a bit of alleged things and I'm just like sitting here like how is this not more talked about we talk about Jeffree Star every single day rightfully so but why is nobody talking about this girl like why is she immune to criticism for this and I kind of think it's because it's the way she presents herself. She presents herself with a very like, I am the, the I am everything attitude and an I am never wrong attitude. She gives off a vibe of like, I literally don't care what you think about me. And I don't think she does. Like, I don't think she cares. The fact that she made that second post when everyone was kind of giving her crap for being an anti-vaxxer, being like, I'm just used to the world hating on me and criticizing me for no reason. She almost is like low-key super manipulative. And it kind of sucks because she's so successful and you're just like... What? Like, <laughs> what? And you believe this crap? Like, what the heck? And it also, I think, I think it kind of opens the Pandora's box a little bit because a lot of people are saying they're not going to support her anymore for this, which... I think is fair enough but I almost think this opens the box of like because a lot of people are like well you can't just stop like it's silly to just stop supporting a brand because of one person involved like when Jared Blandino does shady stuff or whoever does shady stuff or like the owner of it cosmetics I guess did some shady stuff they're like nobody stopped supporting them and it's like they're, they think we're just picking on Kat Von D. Her, the brand, the name of her brand is Kat Von D. She is the brand. She's, she's single, like, she is the brand. She's made herself, it's the same thing with Jeffree Star. If it was called something else, and he wasn't the brand, it might be different. But, like, Kat Von D is the brand. She is solely the brand. Her opinions directly are with now correlated with the brand. When you search Kat Von D on Instagram, two ones pop up. One is for makeup, and one is literally her. She's named her brand after herself, and in turn, she's made the brand, like, about her. Because all of the palettes have her vibe. They're very, like, dark and death and, you know, all of this like super raunchy risky stuff which by the way has gotten her in trouble in the past like a little bit but it's her brand so it's like oh okay but when you start practicing really hateful things really ignorant things in real life that's when the problem arises and honestly everybody has kind of been saying I, I wish she had just kept it to herself because if she just kept it to herself like nobody would care yeah nobody would care but nobody would know that she's not a very good person if she just kept it to herself like nobody would know that she's kind of doing really terrible terrible things I'm glad she said something publicly in the sense that I am glad I now know who I'm supporting and who I'm not supporting I know that I'm not gonna support her brand anymore but I'm also a little bit frustrated with how public she's, it's, a, it's like a double-edged sword, you guys. I'm glad that I know who to support and who not to support. I'm always glad when that happens. But I'm angry because I worry that people who look up to her, because she is an influencer in her own way. You know, I think she's pretty influential, actually. Um, how many followers does she have? She has 6.7 million followers on Instagram. So yeah, she's pretty influential. Um, I think to put off the criticism surrounding anti-vaccination as people just trying to tell you the stereotype of like everyone gives you advice when you're pregnant i think her trying to put that criticism off as that is super ignorant because if this isn't just like people trying to tell you and giving you advice like oh make sure you put them to bed on a schedule or make sure you feed them this this isn't that this is we're trying to save your child's life and the lives of other children that he's going to come into contact to like i would say this to any parent who said they weren't going to vaccinate their child i would say something similar to this i'm sorry i know this might be ostracizing if you are an anti-vaxxer and of course like if your child if there's a reason they can't be vaccinated like if there's a reason if they have an allergic reaction or there's a medical reason they can't be my boyfriend has to get he's he doesn't have immunocompromised my boyfriend is immunocompromised so he has to go and get vaccines like a special way done through like a special thing because he can't take like the normal vaccine because he's immunocompromised I know about what it's like to be immunocompromised I know I don't know the end of it where it's like something happened to a child because of a vaccine 
And if you can respectfully explain to me if something like that happened to your child and you can respectfully explain that to me and tell me like the details about that, I would be very interested to hear more about that side. I still don't think that's a valid reason not to vaccinate all children, but like I'd be I'd be interested to see your reasoning respectfully. Um, just as I'm respectfully trying to tell you this, but like I see the side of it where I have someone who I love in my life who is immunocompromised and it's really scary. It's, it's really scary. People don't realize how serious being immunocompromised is and how people who don't vaccinate their kids make that 10 times worse. Like people don't see how terrifying that is. Because if he gets the flu, he can literally die. Like, it, people don't see that. P parents, parents are like, well, I want what's best for my child. And it's like, okay, but we're still trying to, like, give you what's best for your kid because what's best for your kid is to, in, like, is to vaccinate them. I don't know why this is so complicated for people. I don't like that it's almost become, like, a trendy thing to not vaccinate your kids. I feel like it's becoming, like, a trend. Because there's definitely a wave of it. I And the problem is, I don't think these people that do this are like evil people. I do think they're trying to look out for their children. I just think they don't get the seriousness of the issue. Like, I think it's just kind of ignorant. She also mentioned in her Instagram post, she was like, my father screamed at me when he heard we were having a natural birth in like a water tub with a, with a um, nurse or what's it, a home? I don't have kids. I don't know what it's called, but I think it's like a midwife. It's a midwife. She was having like a natural at home birth with a midwife. Lots of people do that. Like that's not nobody. I don't think a lot of people give you any crap about something like that. My own sister, she says when she has kids, she wants to have like a really natural birth in like a tub because she watched some documentary and she thinks it's like better. And I have no qualms with that. I don't think a lot of people have qualms with that. I don't think a lot of people are going around trying to tell her how to live her entire life. I think this is just one issue that because it affects so many other people, people just feel really, really strongly about it. And I can't say I blame them. Like I, I, I feel strongly about it because I have a, if her kid goes to my boyfriend's school where he teaches, he, he's that kid's gonna get him sick and could potentially kill him. So obviously I care. Does this make sense? I don't know. I'm gonna do like my eyelashes and stuff and do my under eye and then I'll come back for highlight and we'll kind of close out with like final thoughts. Okay. okay, so basically in short, just vaccinate your kids. <laughs> just don't listen to the Kat Von D's of the world. Just do it. Your doctor didn't go to medical school and get in hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt so he could intentionally hurt your child. Like, are there side effects? Of course. Are they like literally one in a million? Yes. Like, I just don't see the point in hurting your kid like that. When the chances are so, you have a better chance of getting in a car accident with your child than them having a bad reaction to a vaccination. Um, I just really think it's messed up that she's promoting something like this to her following. And on top of it, now finding out all of the other stuff I found out, um, which I'll link like the article I read down below and you guys can read it. I don't wanna go into it too much because a lot of it is just like speculation. There's not a lot of hard proof that she is allegedly racist or an anti-Semitic. There's not like hardcore evidence, but there's enough evidence and enough allegations to swing me in that direction. So I'm gonna leave that article down below and you guys can decide how you feel about it. Um, I don't wanna say that it's 100% true because I don't know that, but it, it swayed me enough to believe it. And I've decided now I'm probably not gonna be supporting her brand. I'm not about to like burn my palettes or anything. I don't really see the point of that because she already has the money that I you like the money that I bought that with. Uh, and if you guys still want to support her, obviously I don't care if, what you want to do with your life unless it's vaccinating your children. Then I care. Like I don't know. I I totally respect if people think I'm being extreme by not wanting to support her anymore. But at the end of the day, it's my money. It's my decision. If I don't want to, I don't have to. And it's the same thing. It's not directly affecting anyone else if I if I do that, except her, who I wanted to affect. Um, 
I'm not spreading diseases or hurting other people. So you can tell I feel strongly about this. Um, I'm sorry if this, normally I try to see things from both sides in my opinion. Like in these type of videos, I try really hard to see things from both sides and really, really try and like hear the other side out. I just cannot do that with this situation because I feel way too strongly, way too strongly about it based on my personal experiences to see it any differently. Um, if you have a differing opinion and you can, again, respectfully, please respectfully say it, I would love to hear it. I, I don't think I'm ever going to agree with you, but I, I still, I, I like this channel because I like hearing differing opinions. You may feel so strongly about anti-vaccine because of something that happened to you. Um, I feel so strongly because of the way it affects other people around me. Um, and the job that I worked, I saw how it affected kids. And I just can't support it because of that. And I hope you guys understand and respect that. But yeah, I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. I'm honestly just happy you're watching me. Uh, follow me on Twitter and I will have a new video up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm pre-filming so I can be, if you see this look in another video, I'm pre-filming. But I wanted to get this up as like a bonus video because I just had a lot of thoughts on it and I wanted to just talk to you guys, see where you guys stand. And yeah. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!